Tonight, his exit interview. He sat down with our Jeff Gillen to talk about what went right and what did not. That's right. Good evening, everybody. June 29th is Pat Skorkowski's last day on the job. Today, we did an exit interview, getting his thoughts on leading America's fifth biggest school system. Pat Skorkowski knows these walls. He spent three and a half years at Thurman White Middle School as its principal, one stop on the way to the district's top job. Never would I have imagined when I started 30 years ago as a first grade teacher that I would end up in this role. That was never a goal. In 2013, the board chose this district lifer to be its leader. In five years, what a ride. Ask him today his biggest success. Graduation rate. There's so many achievement gains that we've had over the past five years. Graduation rate advanced placement, magnet schools and magnet schools distinctions. Graduation rates are up. On his watch, they climb from 71% to 83%. That's his good news. Ask him his bad news. I do think that the budget issues over the past five years have been the biggest challenge. Just four days ago, the school board approved a new budget, which had to plug a $68 million deficit caused by losing an arbitration ruling on teacher raises. Last year, there was a $60 million deficit. Critics say Skorkowski is guilty of fiscal mismanagement. How much of that realistically, in your opinion, from where you sit, does rest at your feet? Well, I think you're the leader, so I think there's always some responsibility for those actions. He says the real fiscal culprit was state funding that could not be spent on salaries and how the district did employee contracts, giving too much too soon. You know, that has an impact on the budget for years to come, and maybe we weren't in the place where that should have happened at the time. To afford the latest cut, schools are cutting teachers, class size is getting bigger, and Skorkowski worries achievement could suffer. I, I'm very concerned. Anytime you have to do more with less, pretty soon it's just going to be less. His replacement comes from Orlando. The school board this time went with someone from the outside. Jesus Jara starts June 19th. Whether or not they hired the right person, that'll time will tell. Um, I think he has the, the skills and, and the ability to take this district to the next level. And I, I, I will be there to support whatever he does in the background. And our conversation covered a lot of ground to watch the entire interview. Go to my story on our website, news3lv.com. Jeff Gillett, News 3.